All right, guys, welcome to another video. And this one, we'll be doing some air to air refueling with Reaper. Hope you guys enjoy. Man, these trees look awesome. You mean Vic? Wait, yeah. All right, let's take the active. I got left, you got right. Taking right. All right, let's do our control check. Stick back, stick forward, stick left, stick right, left rudder, right rudder. Okay, you look good. Do I look good? You look good, over. Roger. All right, let's pull up to uh, 95 on the RPM. At 95. All right, good engines, good temperatures. No lights on the panel. Nose with steering is off. And I'm ready to go. You ready to go? Ready to go. Okay, burner in three, two, one, burner, brakes. Sorry, you pull at 120, pull. And pause the brake here. And add a burner in three, two, one. Add a burner, over. All right, we'll climb up to uh, Angels 20, head direct to waypoint 2, left turn. Turn up the ladder. As a tanker. Roger, right tanker is in sight. All right, so let's. Uh, I'll go ahead and call him up. Tell him we need gas. All right, so let's get in close with this guy. So, uh, stupid little question. Why is this a, a um, Turkish refueler? It's just the one I put in the mission. There's, oh, okay. a, there's an American one as well, but... I'm part of NATO here. Uh, it's I just find it funny that normally it's everyone else using our refuelers. <laughs> yeah, Raj. This jet wash is not helping. Yeah, you gotta fight through it. Once you get through it, it gets smooth again.
Alright, so if you get into a crazy position, just power back a little bit. Fly straight and level, get your eyes on the horizon. And then do very, very, very gentle banks towards them. Get your speed at about 310 or so, and you should have a nice closure rate. Just turn around. Just try to keep the same, uh, same distance. There you go. That's the call that I never got. So. Stay nice and relaxed, man. Focus on the tanker. So what we look for in this uh, scenario is about 20 seconds on the tanker. Just so you know, this is my first time ever. And I mean ever. Yeah, stay focused, man. Stay nice and relaxed. Uh, so we're looking for about 20 seconds on the boom, or uh, about 2,000 pounds. What's your uh, fuel state now? Uh, 10,000. Yeah, so you got f about 4,000, yeah, 3,000 something, 3,400. Well, yeah, it's about 4,000 because I started it at, at uh, 6,442. Yeah, great job, man. So what we're looking for in, in this mission is about uh, 20 seconds on the boom. Or about uh, 2,000 pounds. So you're you're fine, man. You just passed. Congratulations. Something I'm going to continue to practice, though. Right, yeah. I lost visual of you, though. I'm at your left. Uh, Nine o'clock. A little high. I'm going to go okay, in and, and try to get some gas, and then we'll head back to uh, to base here. All right. I'll continue to fly uh, formation here. Yeah. Just stay on his right side, a little bit high on his wing there. Good job. I could tell when you got nice and uh, relaxed, because uh, all of a sudden, all those pilot-induced oscillations just stopped, and you just kind of moved it out, man. You just were kind of a laser beam on him, and then you just moved it in with the throttles a little bit, and, and you were good. So, good job. Yeah, roger that. We can RTB, man. All right, I'm at your left. You see me? Got you. Pulling back. Going to your left side. All right, you're fine. You're fine. Stay there. We're going to make a hard left turn. And we'll go straight towards uh, waypoint one here. Rolling out. Roger. Do you want me to stay on your right right side for the rest of the flight? Uh, you can go up. Good. I have my six. Just do trail here. Little uh, celebration flares. Chaff flare, chaff flare, chaff flare. Chaff flare, chaff flare. Yeah, it, it feels really awesome to finally be able to do that. I know, it's a, it's a major accomplishment. We're getting about to the midpoint of the uh, runway here. And we'll go idle on the power. Pull up, pull up. All right, there's a thousand feet. I'm gonna go idle, and one's in the break. Chaff flare, chaff um, flare. Way far chaff behind flare. you. Roger. Chaff flare. But I see what you mean. 
this is exactly how we entered the uh, the carrier pattern except we're we're on the left side of the port side of the uh, boat when we come in and do this then we set up for downwind and once you get below 250 we'll get the gear and flaps down Two's in the break. All right, now I lost you. I'm at the 90. I'm just off the oh, end of I, the road. Oh, I see you. I see you. Get the Italian Hornet 1-1 one, one, uh, short final. So I'll, I'll take uh, left side, you take right side. Oh, I thought we were going to do it one by one. Yeah, we are. I'm just, coming around. Yep, we are doing it one by one. It's just uh, if you're uh, fast or you overrun or you have a brake issue or vice versa, we won't run into each other. Roger. Okay, I went into a flat spin. Did you really? Yeah, I had a flame out and I tried to recover it. I couldn't do it. Were you, uh, did you get slow on the uh, turn there? Did you stall it out? Yeah, my, yeah, my right engine flamed out. Yeah, I th I don't know. How did I get the air to your feeling? Yeah, well, well, it's great you got air to your feeling, but <laughs> doesn't do much good if you can't uh, make it back home alive. So uh, I I was gonna say I think I'm recording, and I'll I'll run back through it and see what I did. My guess is you got really slow on that turn, and you let your speed drop too much, and she nosed up, and probably rolled over on you. Okay. Yeah, so, well, I, I guess it's, uh, no matter how excited we get after combat mission, you know, you still got to make it back to the uh, runway. So don't stop flying until you park it. And what's even more fun is uh, coming back to the carrier. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that video. See you guys next time. Reaper, this video is for you, man.